Okay, so this is the wiring video following on from my bumper removal and tow bar fitment to my VW Caddy. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the wires here now at the moment. Now I'll start with my socket. So here's my socket here underneath next to my tow bar. And what I actually did was I, I hope you can see this now, see there behind it, see the wire? And I went in through into this box section. I just drilled a little hole in the grommet and came in through here. So I came all along this box section. And then here at the end, I came out of this grommet and then into the next grommet here to keep all the wire hidden, as you can imagine. And then it went up into the van. So if we just come out, if we just come out here now, and if we just look in here, so basically, when I came uh, in through that grommet here, I could use these. They're like kind of a plastic kind of things that you can thread together for fishing wire. So I fished up inside in this box section here, and here then is my obviously wire coming from my trailer socket. And then what you do is obviously every bypass relay is going to be different. But my particular relay just happened to be the seven colors here for my tow bar thing and then obviously there's my earth which i'm going to put on here and i have a little washer and a little knot that will go over here so that's what i'm going to use as my ground point there's a good another good ground point here too if i want to use that but i'm going to use this one here and then you get your meter, obviously, and you just find the lights from your rear tail lamp, which is this, which is here. This is just a little clip here, and they're just living just underneath here, that's where they are. So, you just pull them out, give them all a little nick, like that one there, look. See, just give it a little nick, with a stand, with a Stanley or whatever. And then get your tester, and check all the wires and see which one obviously turn on your tail light first then maybe do your brakes then maybe do your left indicator whatever do them one by one check them then as you go and make sure you have the right signal it'd be probably about 10 maybe 11 volts in it now let's just say you do not have a fancy multimeter what are you going to do very simple get a bulb an automotive bulb piece of piece of cable this one just has a little crocodile on it and all you do then is take your cable end and just stick that onto an earth anywhere in the van, any piece of metal in the van, you know. As I said, there's a good earth there, you could just squeeze it in there, whatever. And then the, the other side to the bit that I have the wire on, so this side, you just touch that then off your cables and when they become live, it'll light up. So just any old bulb, two prongs at the end earth one, touch the other off the live, that's it. Very handy thing to make, just easy makeup, easy to use. Now, the biggest problem with this is having to get a live uh, to feed it, which as you can see is here from the front of the van. So what I've done is, I'll just go around to the sliding door, so I'll show you. So what I did in it, I mean, just you can do it any way you want. I came here, I fished down through here to this hole, I came across here to this hole, then I just pulled out this plastic thing, just some clips out, and I just pulled the wire out here, and I just ran underneath, just underneath here, underneath this little step, and you can actually see the wire here. See it there? See the wire? And it goes up into the cab. Okay, we're behind the seat now. As you see, the cable came along here, and I just pushed it in, down in here. So just caught it and just pushed it underneath this piece of plastic and I came up here okay so here it is and then this is a fuse holder which you have to put in absolutely imperative to put this in so welded or soldered in my fuse holder and then found the live here and soldered onto the side of it and obviously 15 amp fuse you know simple as that now that's the life I used, I'm not telling you this is, if you don't want to use this life, use a different life if you want to go directly to the battery, 
all you have to do is go through that little hole and go straight to the battery if you want you know I'm I'm eager to listen or if anyone wants to you know say anything else or if they feel like that maybe there's another life they could use by all means whatever life you think will work use it this is just the one I happen to pick because it's inside the, the car the van very easy to run my cable now I know this fuse might not necessarily be found by the next person so I'm gonna put a little sticker here just saying that it's here in case that um somebody would have and then all the covers this is just a little cover and these two little clips that you wind out so you just wind out these two little clips this kind of cover comes down and look you can see everything you need to do so that's where I got mine from yeah I just tucked it in there and the, just tucked it in underneath the plastic comes back here this is the passenger seat and you see it there look see it it goes into the back of the van there it is and I just tucked it underneath that plastic and that got me then up here to my bypass relay yeah okay so now the next thing then is I had to get a signal from the indicator from the other side of the van across here to my relay and I also had to get my fog signal so what I did was I removed the jack which as you can see is here and here then are the lights for the rear tail light so obviously I checked them, I tested them to see which was the indicator and which was the fog and then as you can see my little wire here I just got a two core wire so there's two feeds in it just happens to be a red and a black and I just fished it, see the fing my fingers? and I just fished it from down through here and as you can see I just took a few clips out yeah just a few clips to remove the ceiling and you can see my cable here I fished it down here in the corner down the side of the van to get to the rear tail lamp and then I just fished it across the ceiling of the van see it there and then down down here just fished it out this hole fished it to this hole fished it to that hole down through here and as you can see there it is there connecting my fog and my indicator and that's it um, some, some fogs have two lights, two wires so you have to cut the fog in half and put one wire to the car, one wire to the relay this one is just straight connecting so you might need to go three core cable up and over through the ceiling to hide it obviously is why I did that you've, as you've seen I've hidden the wire as best I can to keep it out of the way there's no real need to remove the tail lamps I removed mine obviously because I had no real no real video to go on, I had no real hard information as to do anything so this is just why it's probably taken me an awful lot longer than anyone else would take now that they've seen how it is and how it does and how it works okay and obviously that's your earth you just, I'm going to bolt it on there with a little nut and there's an earth on the kit too these little pieces come with it now the one thing I haven't said is about these connectors okay now as you can see I just have them wrapped and I'm going to be soldering them but obviously if you don't have a soldering iron I mean these clips they're they're okay like I mean they can be used you know it's very simple one of them has a little dead end and it's a little, little dead end so the cable from your relay will go into the dead end and then the cable you want to clamp onto will go into the the straight through one and then you just clip it on squeeze this down with pliers and then it just closes over it just closes over on itself I mean they're not really the best to be honest I prefer to just solder them I'll get the soldering air there now and I'll heat them up and I'll solder all them and I'll just put a little bit of shrink wrap or whatever over them to sort them and obviously I have them bare like this because the minute I had this wired I brought it to a friend's trailer and actually plugged it in and checked all the lights to make sure that it was wired right and that it was working before I went soldering because obviously if I'd solder these up and they were wrong and if I had to change them it'd be a right mess do you know so that's why I did it this way uh, obviously if you feel you want to do it different ways or whatever that's cool too uh, obviously this bypass relay is going to be the same in a lot of lot of cars I mean all this is pretty much the same this is just a rear tail light that you're linking into this wire here just goes to the other rear tail light to just bring, bring me a signal down 
is why I had to run that. And then that's the life just from the battery. Put a 15 amp fuse on it. And then just your two earths. Earth them wherever you can. I call them earths, but really they're negatives. I suppose if you really want to be technical, I'm just going to bolt the two of them on there with a little nut. As I said, I have a little nut there, look. And that's actually some kind of a, that's a bolt for the, the rail, the sliding door rail. Uh, okay, I hope this helps, and if you have any feedback, and uh, hopefully give me some likes and whatever. Thanks very much for watching.